Hey there, friends. Welcome to the CFC Leadership Podcast, where we focus on everything campus ministry, college ministry, and young adult ministry related. Whether you're already working in one of these ministry areas, thinking about starting a ministry, or just have a burden for this age group, this podcast is meant just for you. I'm your host, Kyle Austin, and now it's time to join with us in today's conversation. Over the last month or so, I've received this question from various people. Is revival happening at your campus? Yeah. Is revival happening at any of the campuses that CFCs are on? This is a great question, and I appreciate the uh, people who have asked this in sincere curiosity and sincere desire for revival to happen. As I've thought about that and I've pondered, maybe I'm sure you've seen the revival that was going on at Asbury College up in Kentucky. And you, of course, hear all different types of reports and different things that happen. But I began to wonder, you know, I've, I've prayed through my life for revival. I have a, a heart to, to experience revival. Uh, when we go back through history, we see uh, the revivals that have occurred and we have the reports of those. Well, of course, if revivals currently happen, it's, it's kind of hard to see it. I remember in North Carolina, we had the Burlington Revival where people were just swarming a tent there off Interstate 40 and uh, great things were happening. But the question comes back to right now today, uh, is revival happen, happening at your campus right now? And I want to consider that just for a little bit. This episode will be a little bit shorter. I don't have anything structured. I just want to try to encourage you, uh, give you some uh, thought, something to think on, just some food for thought. And uh, I know the end of the semester is here. If you are working on the college campus, so you have a few weeks left, exams, and then it'll shift into the summer You know, schedule with different things you have going on there. But uh, we're wrapping up here very soon. If you're working with young adults or both together, ministry goes on. And next fall semester will be here before we know it. But as I think about revivals, I've read and studied uh, throughout uh, you know time, different books and different things. And J. Edwin Orr writes a book called Campus of Flame, where he goes through and just gives the histories of the revivals that have happened on college campuses. It's a, it's a very interesting uh, to read through there and see how God was working uh, at both Christian colleges, state colleges, uh, how these revivals were happening. And uh, it's very encouraging to trace through and see that. And I think the the thing I can take away from that whole entire book and his work there is it always boiled down to a small group of students who were doing one of two things or both. There was a small prayer group that was meeting consistently and frequently uh, and or there was a small Bible study group that was meeting consistently. And God used that in a tremendous way to impact, to bring what we would say, quote unquote, is revival to uh, an area. Um, so when the question is asked, is revival happening on your campus? How can you know? Like, how can I know? I've thought about it a lot. Uh, and I know many times when we look at revival, we're looking at it to be at a central location with mass people flocking to it. I understand that is a type of revival, but I'm thinking and meditating and praying through that that's not the only type of revival. That's not the only time that revival occurs. I think as I've talked to many of our leaders through this semester at our different CFC ministries, what we're experiencing personally here at both ECU and Pitt Community College and in the lives of our young adults, there is a very unique seeking of the Lord than I've experienced before in ministry. Now, I'm not super old, uh, so I don't have, you know, 50, 60 years of experience. Uh, but from what I've experienced for 12, 13 years, there's something very, very different this year. And it's not just us, it's amongst many different groups. We're seeing an interest, we're seeing souls saved, uh, we're seeing a, a hunger for discipleship, a hunger for uh, truth, we're seeing a hunger to be involved in church and uh, I've just got some recent reports some of, uh, some, from some of our other CFC ministries that they've never experienced uh, the amount of students that want to be involved in leadership. They've never seen this many students uh, connecting to their church. They've never seen this type of growth before. Uh, we here at ECU saw exponential growth. Uh, 
uh, over this last uh, year, greater than we've seen in any other year of our ministry. And we give God the glory for it. It's nothing that we're doing. But I want to say this as we kind of consider this idea of revival. Okay, so maybe it's not some big meeting, some big worship service for one, two, three, four, five weeks. Maybe there is a spirit of revival going on right now at your campus. Maybe you and your young adult ministry are seeing there's a heightened sense of urgency to seek the Lord. You're seeing growth. You're seeing pursuing. You're seeing them getting a little more serious about being a follower of Jesus Christ. What is that? That's a spirit of revival. I don't know how else to explain what is going on at our campus besides there has to be something that God is doing. We understand God's always working. I'm not diminishing that. And I see the the great meeting at Asbury, and you see other great meetings that, that happen. And when you go back through history and you see how J. Edwin Ward kind of traces the, the revivals that were happening in campus, sometimes it was local. You know, it wasn't some huge meeting. It was, it was local, but it had effects that spread out into the community, so much so that it could be seen, it could be felt. There was something people could say, there's something different that's going on. Uh, we had one ministry that uh, just started this semester, and they grew from just a couple students to eight, and then a young man got saved, and then the next week uh, he brought a bunch of people with him. Now you say, yeah, that that could be revival. It could not be. But when you see the overall picture, there's something going on in the lives of our young people right now. There's, uh, we had a young lady. Uh, we have a campus house now. I'll, I'll share some information with that as we go forward. But uh, we were able to open up a campus house right beside the uh, student center here at ECU, and uh, we're there Monday through Thursday right now, nine to five, nine thirty to five, and we're we'll be expanding that further. Uh, but just being open for students to come study. To to come have Bible studies, discipleship, prayer. We'll have all different types of events. But saying that, we're there. We have a sign out there. We had a young lady uh, who walked in off the street. She came. Uh, my wife gave her the tour. And uh, she. we could tell she didn't want to just sit down and study or, or leave and come back at a different time. There was something else, you know, more urgent. And to give you a long story short, she had serious answers about Jesus. She said, I've just never really considered God. I've never really considered Jesus. I've walked by your house. I keep seeing the sign. And uh, I'm very curious. And there's this urging. She said, I don't even really know how I got in the house today. And My wife talked with her, answered a lot of questions, was able to lead her to the Lord. And I just see the hunger. I see the, I guess I can look at it in a few different ways. Uh, If you're on a college campus, I'm sure you understand the mental health crisis that's going on. You understand the depression, the anxiety, the suicide, uh, the student deaths. All this is going on. It's real. And really the university is just a small picture of what's going on in society as a whole. And it's heartbreaking Uh, when you see students like this. But on the flip side, you see the hunger. You see the need for hope. You see them searching, and I think there's an unrest which causes the the anxiety, the uh, the depression, uh, the, the suicide. There's an unrest. Why? Because the forces of good and evil, God and Satan, are battling it out. We understand the Lord's return is imminent. It's close. You and I have a short amount of time. Every semester that goes by is one semester less that you and I will have. The time is short. The souls to be reached are many, but God is at work. And I just want to encourage you because sometimes we think, oh, I wish God would do that here. Why is God not doing that on my campus? And just take a survey. And maybe you're saying, no, God's not doing that on my campus right now. And that's okay. Maybe it'll be next year, next week. We can't control how God works. But I just sense personally in our own ministry a growth like we've never seen, a hunger like I've never experienced. Other ministries are are sharing the same thing. So is revival happening on my campus? Yeah, there's a spirit of revival that is going on on my campus. There's a spirit of revival that's going on on as some of you that may be listening on your campuses or in your young adult ministry. And people say, hey, look, our, our campus ministry is a little flat this, this year, this semester, but our young adult ministry is just booming. There's just something going on in it. What is it? I believe it is that spirit of revival that's going on. So just as you take away one, be encouraged that God is at work that it is not a hopeless situation with our young people. Uh, I think they've been given from kindergarten all the way through. Uh, you're here by natural processes, evolution. There is no God which, per, which produces no hope, absolutely no hope. 
and they're running up on empty and they're searching. They're saying there's got to be more to life than this. That's where I found myself as a 20 year old, 18 year old, 16, 15, all the way into my uh, young 20s. There has to be more to life than this. And then when you find that there is, there's hope through Jesus Christ, it just gives your life meaning, purpose, and perspective. But as you as a leader, as you're working, just know that God is working with you. We looked in a verse in our Bible study this past week in Romans 8 to 31 that God is for us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Absolutely nothing. So know this, young adult leader, campus minister, God is for you. That means that every single thing in your life and ministry is working for your good. Even the setbacks, even the difficulties, even the heartbreaks, even the trials, everything, because God is for you, is working in his direction, is working for you. None of that can work against you. And so is there a spirit of revival happening at your campus? I pray that it is. And I don't know uh, how long, you know, we'll see this interest. It could be a week, it could be a month, it could be years. But all I know is I want to seize the opportunity. I want to encourage you as a young adult and campus minister worker that God's at work, that you're needed, and there is a fruitful field outside the doors of our houses and churches that needs to be reached. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If this podcast has been helpful to you, please share it with a friend or subscribe to stay up to date on the latest episodes. You can connect with Collegians for Christ online for more information and resources at cfccampusministry.com.